All right, aloha everyone. Welcome back, I'm gonna do a really quick uh, tutorial video on um, that Nira deadbait uh, rig. So what I got here is of course, as you can see, this is the dead bait, bait rig. It has a little bit of weight at the bottom. Um, and how this works is actually, there's a small little rubber piece inside here where you're gonna put the, your line into. So, of course, you're gonna need that. You're gonna need a, uh, a zip tie. Um, of course, I'm using a 60 pound uh, fluorocarbon line. And of course, I got a, uh, this is a, what, 780 hook, circle hook. And I'm gonna be using a uh, trailer. And the way the trailer gonna go is just right inside this hook tip you guys just gonna go just like this under the anal fin um, and it's just gonna be in the back like this I've got one already made so this is my second one okay so I'm gonna show you really quickly how it how it looks so 60 pound fluorocarbon so this is my uh, Nita again live zip and then of course ask, ask me dead bait rig uh, with the Nita zip tie right here. So you get um, your dead bait rig inside the mouth with the weight on the chin and um, the line that's going to go right inside here and then come out of the, this hook which is actually right inside the uh, uh, gill area or it might be by the stomach area. So this is the hook that I'm using right here. That's what it's going to be. Okay guys? Um, so as you can see that my trailer hook is in the very back anal area and it's just connected into that hook. So I'm gonna again, this is already a, ready to go, um, just tie this to my main line, however you, um, I prefer to when I'm on the water. So here's another bait, you can use whatever bait, Opelu. A kule, um, anything okay so the way I do it is at first gonna get my line I'm just gonna slip it through the gear or from the mouth or oh, excuse me sorry slip my Nita like a uh, dead bait rig the screw cap the next is this rubber grommet that's going to pinch and keep your line in place okay so it comes in two uh, different sizes this is the smaller one smaller diameter for smaller lines uh, there's another one for bigger diameter bigger lines and I just slip it all the way straight through so next I'm gonna place this in the mouth coming down the gill plate area at the bottom like so okay underneath the gill yeah like so so now on my hook I'm going to tie I uh, see this this hook itself is actually um, pointing outwards at the eye so what I I prefer this because I like to tie the snail knot but you can tie whatever knot you prefer so I like to tie a snail knot snail knot okay the way I tie my knot is a snail knot using the uni simple loop around over the shank and then seven to ten times I like to go a little bit more five six okay that's about nine right there get the tag in coming out and just cinch it together 
like so. Okay. The yeah, reason why I like this dead bait rig is you can do it here at home. Keep your bait in line, everything in the refrigerator. And when you're in the water, you can just tie it any way you like to your main line. Okay. It's like so. So before I position this hook, I position my uh, trailer hook first. So how I do that is like, I just measure approximately where I'm going to have this hook coming out, normally between this uh, fin and the stomach area, right behind this, uh, the gill plate area. So if I have it coming out of there, this one is gonna be like coming out all the way in the back. So I'm gonna have this hook way, way in the back here, you guys. Okay. Think this stop. Okay. Like so. Now I have it positioned back here. Yeah. Then I take the hook that I just tied, and then now I come out, I poke it in the stomach area. Like so. Put my other loop end in that hook. And position the hook where I want it now. Like so. All right. Next is we put the Nita into the mouth and this is where we're gonna use zip ties you guys zip tie right at the lowest corner part of the eye and out in the other side like so and into this small little hole at the bottom of the lead area, okay? Get your snips. Cut that loop, the uh, pointy part out. Now you just cinch it down like so so it looks like that and then lastly at the very end where the rubber grommet goes or is that you just put it all the way in and just screw it on and that's going to hold your bait in place there you go guys another bait ready to go and now you just cut this line as far as you want your leader to be hope you guys enjoy that aloha